Welcome once again to at Ozvol YouTube channel. You are joining us once again for the Australian Beach Volleyball Tour. This is round two and the gold medal match in the men's elite division. It's going to be a rematch of Cobram where Chris McHugh and Paul Burnett took honours in straight sets over Isaac Carraher and Mark Nicolaitis. And it's going to be those two teams battling it out again. Your top seeds, Paul Burnett and Chris McHugh in the black shirts, the tour leader singlets that we have implemented this season. Looks the goods. Uh, taking on the men in magenta, Mark Nicolaitis and Isaac Carraher, the number three seeds. So an absolute rip snorter of a semi-final win for both these teams. Uh, Chris and Paul beat James Tacken and Mathieu Jeba. Straight sets, but it was a seesawing topsy-turvy affair for Max and Thomas being defeated by Isaac and Mark, and that's why they find themselves in the gold medal match right now. As we sort out the last couple of bits of the warm-up, you can see that the... Molly Mook, Molly Mook conditions are somewhat blustery here this afternoon with an easterly coming off the shore into the, well, from the right-hand side as you look at it. And as I look at it as well, that's the east to the right and the west to the left. And it's on the west bank of Molly Mook that you will find the Molly Mook locals, the crowd, the, the kids, the nippers, the the other athletes that are out of the tournament and just general beach volleyball fans. And the boffins upstairs tell me that we are not too far away. We've already had the coin toss and uh, the man on the sand is Benny Abbott, DJ Babbitt. And we will throw down to him in just a moment and he will have Mark Nicolaitis for the interview. Free game. So Over to you, Ben. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here at court side with one of the gold medal participants, Mark Nicolaitis. Welcome to you, mate. How's it good? What a bad job. We started Cobra, now at Molly Mook. Our fantastic location, right? Yeah, I mean, it's... Can't complain about playing sport in these locations. Leaving you speechless. Le yes, yeah, leaving. I'm just saying, yeah. it's leaving a speech. That's what it looks like. Man, I think uh, this year on Thursday, the weather's just gotten better and better every day. Um, and Absolutely. Thank you, mate. Pass it on to your opponent here, the big man himself. Jump over here, Chris. Uh, Chris McHugh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to you. Uh, how does this beach fare to all the beaches and the competitions around the world? Oh, look, the beach has been fantastic. Uh, couldn't ask for a better day. Fantastic location. Thanks to... Uh, so the Chai Council, Chai Hayden, Chai Council, we bring us down. Um, but look, wouldn't, wouldn't be happy to be here. Absolutely, all the best, Chris. Thank you so much, mate. Ready to rock you for the gold medal match. First serve, moments away. Thanks, Benny. Thanks, Benny. Amazing stuff down there. Obviously, great scenes. And as we have the... Well, ladies and gentlemen, ready to go here on Senate Court. That was obviously... We're the, uh, cruising through and we'll <laughs> first introduce you to our referees. Please welcome so up on the stand, stand the legend himself. First referee, Mr. The Darren right Grimsey. Now, and, uh, as we look at some of the... And our second referee, Johnny of Courtside. Please welcome Mr. Stephen Gionni. From the athletes, obviously, we've got we Mark first meet and Isaac the men on the south end Isaac's of the beach, the number three seed. This first athlete, we just had a good chat then. Uh, he is the a youth under, Olympian, a silver medalist beach in Cobram. And also the under, sorry, the 2019 Uni Games Beach Volleyball champion. 
And Mark Nicolides is a youth Olympic Games athlete in 2018. He finished ninth youth Oceania Olympic Games qualifier 2018. He got a gold medal there. And the Youth Commonwealth Games 2017, a bronze medal. He's an absolute rip snorter. That is Mark Nicolides and his partner jumping out on court is Isaac Carraher. Good luck to those number three seeds here for the gold medal match. And as we welcome the next gents on courts, the number one seeds and the gold medalists from Cobram, it's Cottesloe Beach local, the 198 centimetre behemoth, Paul Burnett. Started playing beach volleyball, playing four aside with friends. So all of a sudden, Paul Burnett finds himself in a at the top of his game in a top competition in the country and in an Olympic cycle. And Chris McHugh jumping up on court now, the the governor of Glen Elg, 198 seven, sorry, 197 centimetre monster himself. He started in primary school in grade four with a spike zone. He only did that so he could get out of clarinet lessons on Wednesday afternoon. So it takes all sorts in all stages of life to get yourself up and about here. So it's the shortest gent on court. I'm sure he won't mind me saying that. 185 centimetre Mark Nicolades putting that one into the net, but uh, we'll forgive him for that. Understandable if there's a few nerves out there. These two teams have been waiting to take each other on almost all tournament. And in particular, the men in magenta at the broadcast end, Isaac Carraher going up, bang! Sends it wide, unfortunately for him. And Mark have been uh, have been waiting to take on these two again. It's been two weeks of a of a silver medal sting in their veins, ready to go again. As teams just trying to sort out the conditions here. We we touched on how blustery the conditions are coming from that easterly direction off the shore and um, off the water even and. Uh, that two ball goes wide. So as you look at it, the easterly, which is the right-hand side of screen, is where all the wind is coming from. And that's going to be, I would suggest, where they're going to often serve most and attack across into. That one triples off the net. He's up. He's on. Nicolaitis, great defense. Can he do it again? No, he can't because Isaac Carraher gets tooled through those big, long arms of his. But he's, uh, he's 198 centimetres himself, so everybody out there fairly well matched. Mark, obviously, the odd man out. Loves his beach volleyball, though. Loves the speed of the game. And loves to temp tinker with the tempo. Whoa, that one sails over the top. Outreached. Paul Burnett, the tallest man out there, 198 centimetres, but he looks a lot taller. He's lanky and long and very light. He's athletic. He gets up out of the out of the sand, but it's the men in black coming down to the the broadcast end. And then you might be able to read on the back of their shirts, Tour Leader. That is a new initiative that we've implemented for Volleyball Australia this year for the, uh, the Australian Beach Volleyball Tour. And it just highlights who are the points leaders on the tour. So not just because they won the last event, but they're obviously in the lead on the points table. So we shall see if, well, we shall see if they hold on to those singlets being a rematch. Possibly Mark and Isaac might be wearing them next round. We don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Speaking of trying to see, looks like a little bit of a, a Sunny's clean up for, for Isaac. All right, we're back on. Burnett with a jump serve into the corner and not before his feet, his big bloody canoes of feet claim the baseline. Foot fault. I saw it lift the line. 
First referee, Darren Grimsey, just sorting things out. Chris with a big two ball after a quick chat to Grimsey. Just discussing how well laid these lines are. Our ops crew do a magnificent job around the country. This is certainly no exception. The governor of Glenelg puts a ball into the net. You can see the teams in particular at this broadcast end are aiming for that top right corner. And if you mark Nicolaides, you're aiming for the first 20 centimetres of the court after the net. Well played, well used. Good use of the equipment. Two-point lead. Oh, great block from Isaac Carraher. You'll see him step in to take out that hard cross-court angle from Chris, who essentially had to change his shot and go with somewhere he didn't want to go. And Mark Nicolaides, he's got the ball on a string, wrapped around his little finger. Nicely done as they change ends. They lead by four points, 9-5. They go maybe to the good end. It's, it's more of a crosswind. Not quite going end to end or corner to corner. Not just yet. We have seen it swirl around a little. So let's uh, let's see what happens. Oh, Nicolaides, he is on fire. The Mediterranean Lothario. Look at him go. He loves his beach volleyball. He loves getting up there. He's a fast, fast unit, and they lead by five in a fast start for the number three seeds. As we draw our attention to the next phase of the competition, starting with the Australian Junior Beach Volleyball Tour at Manly Beach from March 1st to 3rd. Nominations close tomorrow, folks, Monday the 21st of Feb. Same goes for the Australian Beach Volleyball Tour. That's the seniors. Manly Beach, New South Wales, 4th to the 6th of March. Nominations close tomorrow, Monday 21st of Feb. So get them in. And if you're not there... Well, you're knocked out. You'll find us on SBS On Demand for the bronze medal matches starting at 11.30 with the women's and the men's at 12.30. And then SBS Live on TV, the women's gold at 2 and the men's gold at 3. But right now, back here on Centre Court at Mollymook, it is the men's gold medal match live here on YouTube on the At Oz Volley channel. And after a couple of, couple of very well-crafted aces... The timeout brings a fault from Mark. Burnett with the honours now. Jump float from the far end. Almost gets the miscommunication. Great set. And over the top, using the corner that is favoured. Just missing the baseline and not claiming any of the block as he was possibly hoping and aiming for. Carraher got it again as we have Chris just fix a couple of the lines and build a little sandcastle. He's a little blustery condition, so sometimes those lines can move and get taken with the wind. So just putting a little bit of weight of the sand on there. And Mark puts it exactly where Chris was, but he wasn't there anymore. 11, serving seven, keeping the number one seeds at arm's length. Four points. Wide serve, taken outside the body. And getting his body almost out of the way, Mark Nicolaides, as Chris McHugh almost goes head hunting. We saw some curating from Chris with the uh, fixing of the lines, and he loves mowing his lawn when he's at home, so he's a bit of a curator, and he's curated himself a magnificent moustache, it must be said. Very Ned Flanders esque. Oh, and he's done diddly done him on the block, but off the top, Mark Nicolaides. Just last year, he was playing in the Senior Asian Champs, so he's, he's had a pretty good little run since about 2018 of beach volleyball. He started in 2017 with that Youth Commonwealth Games bronze medal. He's just gone from strength to strength. He's originally a Queenslander. His home beach is the Sandstorm Beach Club. 
We'll go to a quick break with a uh, technical timeout with 12 9 the score line going the way of Carraher Nicolaitis. Back here in the men's gold medal match. Nick and ladies and Cara Her leading McEwen Burnett in a gold medal rematch from Cobram here on the sands of Molly Book. Can the change in location have a change in fortune for Mark and Isaac? Or are our tour leaders going to take home another gold? We shall see. But right now, it's... Paul Burnett with the jump serve. Nicolaitis catching it short on the pass. That full stretch Burnett, he's up again. On the attack. Done it. Paul Burnett. Cottesloe Beach local, originally WA. He started playing beach volleyball as a four-a-side game with friends. Funnily enough, the World Beach Games in Qatar in, Qatar in 2019 found Mark Nicolaitis playing in the first 4v4 world event at the Beach Games. So an interesting turn of events with similarities and comparisons along the way. And that might be Paul Shout later, I dare suggest. On a nice sunny Sunday Arvo here in the Shoalhaven area of New South Wales. And that ball is a double contact with a handset from Chris McHugh. Filthy with himself. As filthy as that moustache. I'll leave him alone now. And it's Isaac Carraher. Sending that one just wide. His home beach is in Manly. But now he's at Sassy in South Australia. But Manly is where we will find ourselves after this round. Quite a sweet little starting story. His first Australian Beach Volleyball tournament was a state open, the SA Open, with his dad, Craig Carraher. So a big shout out to dad. Thanks, Craig. Hope the beard's going well. He's quite an optimistic young man. His best career memory this far, thus far is yet to come. I like that. Uh, nicely done from Nicolaitis. Catching Paul Burnett a little too high on his platform. And another error, or a forced error even. Four points. The number three seeds lead the number ones. First set here in the gold medal match at Molly Book. Nice bump set and a huge angle from Chris McHugh. That's a big swing from a big man. Chris, our most recent Olympian, tearing up the sand in Tokyo. Just last year, 2021, with his now retired former partner, Damien Schumann. He's part of the... First men's team to go to the Olympics since 2008. So great to see not only Chris still playing, but also that success they had together with Damo. But I dare say there's a, there's a little honeypot of men's and women's athletes here in Australia ready to go to the next, next phase in such a short Olympic cycle. Only three years, well now only two years until they start playing in Paris. Chris's most favoured memory is obviously that Olympic Games qualifier, and I reckon that highlight for Mark Nicolaitis might be up there, acing the big Chris McHugh himself. Having an absolute ball out there is young Mark Nicolaitis. That was a little heavier on that shoulder. Nice. 
Oh, and they've got them on the back foot. They are under the pump, and that is six set points here in some blustery conditions at Mollymook. Carraher and Nicolaitis on fire. Oh, goes for it. Spin to win. We love to see it. He's such a brave young man. He started in indoor, and I remember seeing him playing some fast-setting volleyball with his Queensland Pirates at the AVL. And I tell you what, him coming onto the sand is an exciting prospect. All 185 centimetres of him. Can they go fast to the stick again? He does, but can't quite get that attack away. As he gets in the right spot, one in the bread basket, and he's gone to... He's bowled the wrong one. <laughs> and he's chucked it short. And that's the first set. 21-15 going away. Nicolaitis and Isaac Carraher. And the young lads are smiling like a proverbial Cheshire cat. And that is the end of the first set here at the bronze, sorry, the gold medal match even at Mollymook Beach in New South Wales. Welcome back to the Oz Volley channel here on YouTube Live. Carraher and Nicolides picking up where they left off. Big swing straight down the middle after a big jump serve. I love that heavy shoulder from the, the youngster. He's there in the defensive position again, Mark. Making his mark in the sand, doing things at will. They took out the first set over the number one seeds and the tour leaders. That's why they got themselves the black singlets on. Chris and Paul, but we might see the sequel and have Men in Black 2 next round if Mark and Isaac can get things done here. He's there again. He's just overcooked that one a little bit. It's going to go back to Paul. Can he get it? He can. Gets himself up. Good position, but just maybe just a little excited. Maybe a little excited. We'll forgive him for it. But there's a long way to go in this match yet, especially this set. Must win for Chris and Paul. They'll back themselves to the hilt, I reckon, these two. But when you're on a roll, you're on a roll. So what can Mark and Isaac do? Stamp their authority. Exciting new young pairing. Oh, it goes the back door. There wasn't much of an angle there, but between the antenna and the block, he snuck it through. Isaac might have had to go just another touch wider, reach up with that left hand, strong left shoulder. Nonetheless, he's got the chance to attack now. What can he do with this interesting ball? An interesting spike in, in general, and Nicoletti's can't quite get the block up in front of Chris McHugh. I tell you what, you play like that, boys, and the, um, the crowds will start rolling in again. They're already on the rolling green hills of the Molly Mook Amphitheatre on the hill in front of the Lifesaving Club. Can't quite see them but uh, on, on your screens, but they're there, and they're there in 
Yeah, Droves snuck his way back up again. Nice set. Steps in, and a big seal of the net from Isaac Carraher. Woohoo! Twenty nineteen Uni Games Beach Volleyball Champion. Isaac Carraher stepping up his game here against the number one seeds. What's Chris got? Returns fire. Can't quite get it. Isaac gets up there. 198 centimetres. He's well matched against the other two. Paul Burnett with the serve. Top spin goes the opposing corner to the favoured into the wind, but can't quite find it. Goes long of the baseline. It's going to take Isaac back. Started his AVB tour in 2017. Strange to say that that was five years ago, but great to see him hitting his straps in a couple of tournaments in a row. Oh, fast to the stick. We love to see it. It's a huge tool off the top of Chris's block. Chris's first year was on the Australian Beach Volleyball Tour, if you can believe it, was in 2005, which is just incredible. His longevity and, and athleticism has taken him to obviously the top of this sport participating at the Olympic Games just last year. And it's great to see him still dominating the sand, but I reckon he's changed his shape a little. The, the new Australian strength and conditioning coach has taken his body to the next level. Not quite who the inspiration for the moustache was. We touched on it earlier. It might have been Ned Flanders. We saw another one earlier with... Tommy Hodges, the, the classic Hollywood Clark Gable style. That one catching the wind here. You can see it swirling around. And he's somehow got that back up and it's still alive. <laughs> Paul Burnett, he's everywhere. And Isaac puts it to the back of the court. Desperation from both teams. Mark Nicolaiti seemingly doing nothing in that point. The other three fighting it out amongst themselves. We got ourselves a set of volleyball on our hands here. Seven points all. Isaac Carraher with the honour of service. There it is. Deep and long. Interestingly, Isaac started playing indoor volleyball in America after he swapped to beach at the University of California and they were ranked third in the NCAA in the first division. Almost out jousts Chris there. Nicolades finds himself on the block and Paul Burnett, I don't even think, saw him. Two-point lead to our number one seeds, looking to square things up and take this gold medal match to a third and deciding set. How's it going to play out? Great swing, good defence in position and touch from Burnett and buries it. The teeth and the tash teaming up to take it out to a three-point lead, 10-7. Timeout called by the youngsters, the men in magenta, as they trail by three, but lead one set to love here in the gold medal match at Molly Mook. Twenty twenty two Gold Coast, you will find us at Volley Slam, Australian Beach Volleyball Tour Finals. Twenty five to twenty seven of March. Australian Youth Beach Volleyball Championships straight after twenty eighth to the thirty first of March. 
And then a couple of days break, Australian Beach Volleyball Schools Cup from 2nd to the 4th of April. What an absolutely rip-snorting time we're going to be having in Queensland. And you'll find those Australian Beach Volleyball Tour uh, finals, the bronze medal matches and the gold medal matches, on SBS On Demand and then SBS Live. 12.30 for the men's bronze, 11.30 for the women's bronze, women's gold at two, men's gold at three. But right now it is the men's gold here at Molly Mook. New South Wales, South Coast. Chris McHugh with a serve. Isaac Carraher loading up and crushing it cross court. Hats off to you, mate. As he catches his own hat on the way down from the spike. I swear they train for that. The amount of times it happens. Nicolaiti sends one into that back corner. Too much heat. And he gets a controlled dig. Speeds up the tempo, tries to wipe off the block and doesn't get any of it. Well, oh, that wind is really kicked up now. You'll notice that a few more of the serves will start to go higher than rather than just passing the net. So Paul's first serve there and even... Mark's last jump serve was very high over the net and just allowing the wind and the atmospheric conditions to, to play a part and put the opposition under the pump. And they've turned the tables again as they change ends after this next technical timeout. Only a few points in it. Nine serving 12 when we get back here in the second set of the gold medal match. Back in action, Isaac's got the honours and a two ball. Is a jump set, outrageous. But the point is still going and Carraher brings the hammer. What an absolute ripper. And Chris McHugh with a two ball approach, jump set behind, outrageous. Didn't get the point though. And a tough serve, wobbling around, dropping down in front of Paul Burnett. Shank pass. One point in it. Oh, it's tense. The run around, looking for the angle into the wind, but he goes angle down the line instead. Hangs and bangs from Burnett. Just sorting out our server with a two-point deficit. McHugh and Burnett have the lead, but they do have to win this set. They find themselves in a strange position. How are they going to handle it? That's very well controlled. If that's the spike, I'll eat my hat. And not a net touch. I believe it was the ball that came down on the left-hand side of the Chris McHugh block. Helped along the way by Isaac. Geez, there's some flex going on with these boulder shoulders out there. Oh, nicely done. Almost corkscrewed himself into that one as Burnett looked to run around. But options are plenty when you're Chris McHugh. Very athletic, sweet hands. Oh, Paul Burnett's up for two rounds, I think. Yeah. 
we are just conferring with our scorer's bench and our second referee whether it's a particular server or what the score is or if we've got to change ends, in fact. So we'll just see where where things hold their proceedings and we'll get our very official officials. The Smurfs. The officiating Smurfs in there. Nice sky blues. Most of them have got white hair too, so that's kind of nice. Carahu is to serve, Van Wu will bring you the action again right now, live on YouTube. The run around Paul Burnett rocking up some Ks if he's running that far for another spike. And not his greatest set of hands. He's usually got quite steady hands. He is a trained dentist. So that maybe wasn't his cleanest. His McLeans were not showing. Level peggings, 14 points apiece. Isaac Carraher with a little jump float. See that one drifting high and just catching some of the breeze. Not able to drop, but it was going to drop late. Almost like badminton and a bit of a shuttlecock. They hit the lead, 15-14. Can Isaac do it again? But it's going to be a timeout called... McHugh and Burnett trail. One set to love and by one point. They've called the timeout. They've got a little bit of work to do. And as we look towards the future of the Australian Beach Volleyball Tour, we will be found on the Gold Coast for Volley Slam. Cool and Gatta Beach in Queensland. The next three rounds in late March, early April, you can find the Australian Beach Volleyball Tour Finals, 25 to 27 of March, Australian Youth Beach Volleyball Championships, 28 to the 31st of March. Couple of days break, and then 2nd to 4th of April will be the Beach Schools Cup. And you will be able to see that on the Gold Coast. And even the Tour Finals on the 27th of March, that's a Sunday, you'll catch that live on SBS On Demand for the bronze medal matches. And gold medal matches will be caught live on TV. Oh, get yourself in front of a screen and you're in front of one right now. Thanks for joining us on YouTube. Order restored for Burnett and McHugh. And that will be 15 all. Chris McHugh to serve. Stamping his authority. Full stretch from Burnett. Two ball over. Nicolades with a little wrap and snap from the little man. But he's not that little. He was absolutely on fire in this part of the previous set. He came out like a hot, hot, hot thing. What's he got for us now? He loves this corner to corner serve into the wind. And that ball is set over... And two touches called by our first referee, Grimsey, Darren Grimsey. Much to the dismay of Chris McHugh. Well officiated, it must be said by our first referees. They're all amazing. Back him to the hilt. Deep corner goes in. Must have been just tagging the baseline. Nice work by Chris and Paul. Just sorting things out. We're back to a one-point ball game. 16 serving 17. Nicolaitis with the chance to attack. A fast one now. Burnett in the right spot. Trickles off the tape. Can he do it? No, he can't. Little touch from Nicolaitis. Puts Carraher in the sand. Desperate stuff. 17 all. We need a little bit of a dust off with our sunglasses and our equipment. Both teams sucking in the big O2. Hello out there in YouTube, the World Wide Web. Thank you for, no, nah, I'm just sticking my mug on TV. Well, internet TV. Here's the second set. It is the gold medal match. 
If you can believe it, McHugh and Burnett lost the first set 21-14. And conditions are such that there is an advantage to a particular corner. So it's just a game of chess now, moving each other around the court to your advantage, staying in it and taking the most of your opportunities when you're able. Taking the most of their opportunities. Uh, Mark and Isaac. Cracking first set, really taking it to the number one seeds, the tour leaders in their black singlets. Some young upstarts taking it to the number one pair in the country for a gold medal on offer to get some payback after Cobram where these two teams met in the gold medal match again. Interesting times in Australian beach volleyball. Ooh, and that guy goes well wide. Chris not quite finding his feet. Bit of a frustrating weekend for Chris, but still got a gold medal up for grabs, my friend. So let's see what he can do. He's a nice little shout out to his family earlier. To the little Jack and Rachel. Nineteen all crunch time. Can the youngsters? Capitalise on their lead and their exuberance. Oh, or has Chris McHugh just got a baseball mitt up his arm? Stuff block, set point, 2019. They've only got one of them. Can Carraher and Nicolaitis side out straight away and send it to essentially a tie-break scenario? Gets the top of the touch of the block. McHugh yells at Paul, get the ball. Far, far too far away for the monster of Paul. Oh, and that's not going to help proceedings. Maybe the pressure of the situation, maybe the expectation getting the better of Isaac just in that particular moment. They can rectify with a chance to side out once again. Set point, McHugh Burnett. Top spin from McHugh. Loses his hat in the process. Gets a phenomenal block. Ball goes out. Kara Her was essentially going to be hitting in a phone booth if he didn't uh, try to tee off on that one. And he looked like he was trying to tee off onto the golf course. Just aiming up, up and away down the Mollybook coastline. Almost to Aladala. And with 21 all again, Nicolaitis gets that one up. Bump set on the attack. And Nicolaitis is the man. Have a look at him. This is gold medal point. 22-21. Can they do it? The number one, number three seeds. Goes for broke. McHugh to save it. Oh, Carraher was all over him, but it sneaks through between him and the net. Oh, all the ducks in a row, 22 all. Oh, that ball might have been going out, but it swings back in somehow. And at full stretch, Burnett puts a... Defensive ball up for Carraher to finish off on one. 23-22. Goal. Medal point again. What's Isaac got for us? Float surf goes short onto Chris. The run around. Can he get the block? No, but Nicolades can get the defense. Still in it. Burnett's turn. And he sends it long and an outrageous victory for the young upstarts. Isaac Carraher. <laughs> Oh, my God. And Mark Nicolaitis, what a man. What a team. What a game. And they get some revenge after Cobram's gold medal goes to Burnett and McHugh. They've got to go home with silver today in Mollymook. And an incredible result for the men's elite division. The number three seeds after a silver medal two weeks ago take home Gold, Nicolaides, and Carraher.
Incredible. 24-22 in the second set. A straight sets victory for a gold medal, if you don't mind. We will have more action for you in just a moment. The net's tight and the court will be adjusted for the women's gold medal match, but I believe we'll be able to get a quick interview with your fresh gold medalists. Oh, man, what a game. I hope you guys enjoyed that out there. I had a bloody ball. Looks like Mark and Isaac are going to make their way over to the man in the sand, Benny Abbott, and he's going to take over proceedings. Down to you, Benny, the man on the sand. Go for your life. Um, let me know when you're ready to go. Yep. Ben. Ben. We are live on YouTube as I'm queued in from the guys here. Hello to Australia and the world. With the gold medals for the round two, Volleyball Beach, make some noise for Isaac Carraher, Mark Nicolaitis. Boys. Talk us through that. You just got a gold medal after getting a silver and cobra. Round two of that one. Uh, man, I just, I can't take this smile off my face. Um, you never could. It's, it's, it's a big thing for Isaac and I. We just love having fun out there. And like that game really was fun for us. Uh, Chris and Paul, really tough opponents. We train against them every day. And they're always there fighting and it makes it really tough. Um, so we were lucky to get over the line today. Absolutely. And, uh, Isaac Carroll, we're cutting out a little bit of the microphones here, but Isaac, mate, a couple of big stuff blocks, hanging and banging. Uh, it's a good kick, though, when you can channel a ball to this man in the back court. He was on fire today. Yeah, look, he's been doing this all summer, man. He's crazy in the defense, so I really only have to take a small portion of court, so I just got to do my job and let, let the little guy roam the back court and then transit like that. Big point at 22 all or 20 all or whatever it was, trans that ball, so... Mate, the score is still there for you guys to see and enjoy. You are the gold medalist for the second round of the Australian Beach Volleyball Tour. Congratulations once again. Isaac Carraher, Mark Nicolaitis, gold medalist. Well done, gents. Stay with us on the YouTube Volleyball Channel. We are here for the final match of the day. Volleyball Beach, a beautiful part of the world. Women's gold medal match. Say hello, Volleyball Beach. You're on YouTube or across Australia and the world. We appreciate your support up there on the hill. Stick around. Outstanding stuff, Benny Abbott. Thanks, mate. Down on the sand, the man with all the, the facts about your gold medalists. Mark Nicolaitis and Isaac Carraher, a stunning result. Congratulations to those young men. A silver and a gold, they go strength to strength on the Australian Beach Volleyball Tour. We've got the women's gold medal match coming up in just a moment, so stay with us here live on YouTube.